In this chapter, Introduction to Microsoft SharePoint, we'll first discuss the category of software called Enterprise Portals. And then we'll discuss uh, SharePoint. When we discuss SharePoint, we'll discuss the difference between Windows SharePoint Services, also known as WSS, and Microsoft Office SharePoint Server, also known as MOS. We'll discuss the two of them, how they relate to each other, etc. We'll look at navigating through SharePoint environments, doing things like creating web part pages, adding web parts to those web part pages, etc., and working with document libraries and zones. So let's get started by taking a look at this category of software I just mentioned called uh, Enterprise Portal. Well, basically, an Enterprise Portal is, uh, is meant to be kind of a, a single point of entry for all the information, all the people, contact information, all the business processes that are associated with your organization. So uh, the, um, this category of software, let's uh, take a look at an example of it, allows, uh, allows people to get to everything they need to to get their, their work done. So here's an example of something called MSW, short for MS Web, Microsoft's Web. It's an internal site that's maintained by Microsoft uh, for their internal customers, for their, excuse me, internal employees. So you see navigation across the top. That's the kind of macro na navigation for the whole company. And then there's little uh, kind of local navigation here. And then right within the center, you'll find what are known as the web parts. Now this is actually using SharePoint 2007 right here, so it's a good kind of a flagship application or portal, this uh, enterprise portal to, to discuss. So the folks at Microsoft are using this, using their own software, to allow uh, all the information associated with the company, all the contact information, all the processes associated with the company, you know, accessing payroll tools, uh, finding different buildings, submitting expense reports, all that's organized within one portal, a portal that's generally web-based portal. Now, Microsoft is not the only you know, company in the world that offers this type of software. You'll notice there's other vendors out there. Um, so the different products that facilitate this kind of development, you see them listed right here. There's Microsoft SharePoint. Uh, SAP has something called Enterprise Portal. And we actually support, if you notice down here, we actually support that SAP portal through something called iViews, so uh, the uh, analogous to web parts. So you can look at the same types of things you see in RT web parts using a tool that supports SAP. And then there's these other portal providers which uh, we're not currently supporting. But I suppose if you know if there's enough uh, interest from customers, at some point we would uh, we would address that. So let's get back now to the the one that we're concerned with, and that's SharePoint RT web parts works within a SharePoint environment. As I mentioned before, SharePoint is a uh, it's basically information management system. It facilitates the collaboration uh, environments that you might need to get your jobs done or get your work done. And again, it can provide a central repository. So all these things are implemented through specific technologies. The two we're going to talk about next is Windows SharePoint Services, also known as WSS, and this Microsoft Office SharePoint Server, also known as MOS.